Welcome to Mindfulness. As per your World Health Organization report, reducing salt intake to a suggested level of less than 5 grams per day could prevent 1.7 million deaths each year across the globe. People often consume salt through ready-made and processed foods such as salty snacks and bread. Also, it's being added during cooking and in the form of table salt at the time of consumption. Most people consume too much sodium through salt on an average 9 to 12 grams of salt per day. Are not enough potassium, less than 3.5 grams. High sodium intake and insufficient potassium intake contribute to high blood pressure, which in turn increases the risk of heart disease and stroke. Potassium can mitigate the negative effects of elevated sodium consumption on blood pressure. Intake of potassium can be increased by consuming fresh fruit and vegetables. Salt is the main source of sodium, a dietary mineral that the body needs. Sodium helps with muscle function as well as maintaining the fluid balance in your body. However, if kidneys are not able to keep up with the amount of sodium we consume, our body retains water in order to help dilute the salt. Why is this bad? Much of this fluid is then pulled into blood vessels which increases the blood volume and creates more pressure within the vessels. Increased blood pressure also increases the risk of heart attack or stroke. WHO report further infers that a healthy diet includes less than 10% of total energy intake from free sugars, which is equivalent to 50 grams for a person of healthy body weight consuming about 2000 calories per day, but ideally it's less than 5% of total energy intake for additional health benefits. People often consume high amounts of sugars in the form of sugary snacks, candies and beverages. When we eat sugar, our body breaks it down into fructose and glucose. Glucose is naturally found in our body as well as in every other living thing. Insulin is a hormone produced by the body and it's essential in processing glucose. It is what allows the glucose in our bloodstream to enter the cells so that they can utilize them for energy. But in a diet that is high in sugar, insulin is not as effective as it should be. The cells build a sort of resistance to it and the body therefore needs more in order to function. This growing insulin resistance is a primary cause of diseases such as diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. Trying to cut down on salt or sugar is tough but doing so can prevent serious damage to our body. Make sure to check the nutrition facts on everything you eat and keep salt and sugar consumption down to suggested quantities. The impact on your health will be well worth the effort. Thank you.